Hey guys, the voice of the blockchain here, Satoshi's big cousin, cryptography's finest, Champagne Crypto, thanks for tuning back in, and we are back after a little hiccup there on the uh, live stream, but we're back tuned in, uh, green on the health stream, on the live stream health, so uh, we're back, and do, indeed we're back, a quick little technical difficulty there, but we're back, it's all good, uh, had to make sure the uh, the deck was con uh, connected com Correctly. Shout out to Cliff Martin, Cryptonomicon, Cryptozilla. So let's try this from the beginning, guys. Today we'll be talking about Bitcoin bulls. Are they unstoppable? Charlie Lee's crypto buying strategy and uh, Dash Latin America. Apparently they've announced a partnership out there. We'll be talking about that as well. But first, let me shout out all the champagne crypto maniacs that are tuning in with me. Even though we had a little hiccup here on the live stream, I see Cliff Martin, Cryptonomicon, Cryptozilla, and all the rest of the boomers out there like Lazor uh stepping into the box i appreciate all you maniacs make sure you're touching the like the subscribe the post notification bell let's get to the top of the search results uh, make sure that everybody tunes into this live broadcast indeed guys let's check out today's mathematics as the bits are currently trading uh, above 7000 it's positive news out there i woke up to some positive news i told you guys earlier that uh my plan uh is uh, the gym every other day. So today I'm off of the gym and uh, I was going to wait a little longer uh, before going online. But I said, let's get on the field early before the rest of the boomers are out there and uh, show these crypto maniacs how we do. Let's check out uh, the mathematics today. Crypto market cap at 228, 228 billy. I'm still aiming for a trillion dollar market cap boomers. I'm still aiming for a trillion dollar market cap. Let's not act like this can't happen out here. Let's stay positive in the foxholes. Bitcoin at 7,032. Uh, we talked about yesterday the resistance level being 6,800, and we're uh, way past that. So uh, good morning, original copy, Cryptonomicon, and Lee. I see you guys tuning into the box. Ethereum's at 287. We need Ether over 300. Ether under 300 is not healthy at all. I don't like that at all, okay? Uh, Ripple, we skip. Bitcoin Cash at 548. Bitcoin Cash out there fighting. It's funny to me. I told you guys yesterday, I'm laughing at you Bitcoin Cash maniacs out there fighting like a... Uh, uh, like the women and children out there in the box. It's funny. I like Bitcoin Cash. I like the revolutionary attitude. Uh, I don't think it's the actual Bitcoin. Although one can argue that it's more in line with Satoshi's vision of peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash. But that's what it is. Uh, I don't have anything against Bitcoin Cash. But I got to laugh at you guys out there with a little quarrel that's going on. Uh, EOS at 543. EOS is gaining a little weight today, uh, going closer to 550 and $6. Check out uh, the EOS videos that I have. You know, I'm a believer in EOS. Uh, basically, an experiment there with a crypto blockchain governance that's going on with EOS. Arguably a little bit centralized with the 21 block producers. Uh, but I'm in for the ride. And again, with EOS, I don't have any more than I uh, can afford to lose in the bag. Stellar out there having a good run these past couple of weeks at 22 cents. Litecoin, Litecoin, Litecoin at $60. All right. Okay. It's, uh, we're back above 60. That's good. Charlie Lee was talking about uh, his crypto buying strategy. And he made uh, Charlie Lee. You know how I feel about Charlie. We got to talk about what he said out there. Uh, we'll get to it. Uh, Tether at a dollar. Cardano at 10 cents. IOTA at 72 two cents now i heard of iota is partnering with another entity out there i'm not sure if it's uh now i'm going blank but let me know if there's a new partnership of uh, iota that you've heard about we know that they partnered with volkswagen we they partnered with uh another car manufacturer i think it was audi which is also owned by volkswagen if i'm if i'm not mistaken uh and that's what it is uh but i heard that there's another uh partnership out there that the uh linked up with i don't know uh i can't i can't remember off the top of my head honestly guys let me know out there if you know uh shout out to ryan out there uh funk it up out there we will be funking it up soon i should have put it on the funk today maybe next time around uh, as the price increases we're gonna bring back the music i know you guys like that we used to uh, play some funk records out here and have fun um eos bug fix you guys are asking about the eos bug but we'll, we'll talk about that as well eos bug is not so much of a bug uh if you read actually the thread it's not a bug it's a feature out there but some people don't understand how it works and we'll be talking about that so uh, the, don't worry about it it's actually not negative news people trying to spin it as fud out there uh 
Chances are you probably read it on, on Reddit. And uh, you know how there's crypto commies out there. Be careful what you read out there. We're going to be talking about that. Fujitsu par- partnership. Okay, that sounds about right, Lazor. Thank you for letting us know about the IOTA um, second or third uh, partnership out there with Fujitsu. Where's the dancing baby bear cub? Shout out to the baby bear cubs out there. Or the there we go. That's the, the funny bunny. I hit the wrong one. But shout out to the baby bear cubs out there. Uh, you guys may not be having the best day when you see Bitcoin go up. Still waiting for that three or four thousand dollar Bitcoin. These funny bunnies, these baby bear cubs. Uh, we gotta laugh at you guys. Iota Fujitsu partnership related to auditing services. Thanks a lot, Lazor. Exactly. Raining bits indeed. Kaboom. Uh, no ward. I see you were raining bits out here. Didn't EOS pay a dev 80k because he found a bug? Uh, they've been hosting hackathons out there, but from what I read, the bug was interpreted to be uh, able to uh, for other people to use your resources. So you know, so other people could be able to use your EOS or your RAM or your CPU power. But that's an actual feature of the blockchain out there. So uh, that's what it is. So people were ex- thinking it was a bug that you could use other people's resources, but that's actually a feature. Uh, so that's what it is. You know, these baby bear cubs, these little funny bunnies out there, they're crypto commies on Reddit. Uh, they get excited and they need to read through and understand what's really going on out there. Shout out to David Tilbrook. I see you. Uh, no warts says raining bits and uh, Cryptonomicon's laughing. So let's check out some of these positive headlines as Bitcoin has cracked through the $7,000 range. We're up early uh, today uh, and we're excited. It's always positive news on this side. Never doom and gloom, guys. Uh, we're getting better with every trade and strong. Stronger with every lift out here. Bitcoin price analysis blasts through $7,000 critical resistance. The bulls are unstoppable. The bulls are unstoppable. I'll repeat that. Bulls are unstoppable. More bits, more bits, and more kabooms. Indeed, this article here on FX Street, I have it linked down below, written by John Isage. Bitcoin price has continued to defy the bear pressure, mutilating the majority of altcoins in the market. Bitcoin breaks above 7K. Technical indicators send bullish signal. The stochastic is ranging at 87.92, while the 100 um, SMA, which is a moving average, is above the long-term 100 uh, SMA. So, you know, I'm not into these technical uh, indicators so much. Uh, But it looks like the sentiment here is good. I focus more on the actual sentiment of the market than the actual indicators. But someone there earlier uh, yesterday was arguing that they're arguably one and the same, that they both reflect the same thing. So uh, it is what it is. Amazing, says uh, No Ward. So yeah, it looks like the the bulls are unstoppable. Uh, Shout out to the young bull that I have here on the screen. Some people often confuse it with a cow. Uh, but indeed, it's not a cow. Cows are fe- uh, female. Bulls are male out there. Which side are you on? Impatient potato, I see you. Need a short squeeze to take us to 84 ASAP. Uh, yeah, indeed. I think that uh, you know we could probably get there. I'm still not convinced with this bull run. I'm going to keep it 1,000 with you guys. Uh, being that we're still in the pocket that I've identified for the entire summer between uh, 58 and 8,000, I'm not really going to get in- excited until we, you know, we crack 82. That's when I got excited before I called that. Bitcoin was back on active duty when we hit the when we cracked through the 81 82 but uh soon thereafter we went back down uh back to the pocket that we had been expecting so you know unless uh you know things go to 84 85 and I see us closer to 9k I, I would uh go ahead and uh put the sirens on like a uh, bit papa said I'll throw on the funk for you guys and uh we'll start crip walking out there we'll start crip walking with the with the boomers worldwide uh 10k by december says cliff markin uh you know we hope so i can i can believe that mike shipley says is this rally real uh you just heard what i said i don't know i don't know if it's a a a real rally i wouldn't consider uh the rally real until we go above 82 or 83 but listen i'll take it you know it's good it's a good rally for right now it's a small baby rally uh but uh you know i'll take it i don't know if we're gonna be out in the clear 7200 uh then we're back down to 6200 yeah we're we'll, you know that could happen as well namacon 
you know that I, I believe that we'll be in this pocket. I said this, I don't know how many times I say it on every single podcast. You know, I'm not a, a, a chart analyst, but uh, I definitely you can see the chart and I can feel the sentiments. I'm here every day and it looks like, you know, we'll be trading sideways from 58 to 8,000. That's why I brought the keto diet for you guys, the strong lifts, uh, these uh, effects so that we can stay entertained in the meantime and in between time. I need you guys to reposition your bags, to keep one in the chamber, to prepare for the crypto kaboom that may be coming soon to a coin market cap near you guys some of you guys haven't been here when things start kabooming uh like they should be it's exciting and if you think champagne turns up when the market's down just wait till this market starts booming back in the positive direction guys we're coming for everything we're coming for blood everybody better get our out of our way the boomers will be rushing the field waving our crypto maniac platoon flags ready to stake it down in the ground and claim new ground new lands out there we're taking everybody's assets okay so get out of our way just wait till this thing starts booming towards uh 10k towards 20k wait till it's at 30k out there this this is gonna be savage on the field we got 43 in the box now it's gonna be more like 430 or maybe 400 uh, 4300 4300 uh we got cliff martin skipping leg day out there don't skip leg day out there martin i need you looking like 300 uh in fact working out legs it's what's gonna release more testosterone out there okay guys more human growth hormones flowing through the bloodstream out there cryptomaniacs you better be working out legs out there in in fact, the program that I'm following starts with legs every single time, okay? I'm going to the gym. Every time I'm stepping in there, I start with squats, okay? The heart is first. And uh, deadlifting, as I'm listening to Champagne, says, Side J, uh, deadlifts is becoming my favorite exercise out there it's a uh, cock diesel for lack of a better word out there if you're not getting stronger every day i need you to do it now uh yo last summer champagne was a maniac on the interweb swear to god like a few months back when the uh markers were should i throw on only champagne videos just to remind myself of the kaboom indeed original copy of day one boomer that he knows how things could get here in the box it can get savage in the box it gets exciting and i invite you guys to turn on all the post notification bells because if you like the the show now things are about to turn up uh very very soon cryptonomicons on eng ela icx ontology and kaboom so he's got some of those alternative coins out there uh you know out of that list one of those may uh boom i heard that uh elastos uh linked up with neo uh is that true or not uh shout out to true african champ what's up bro good morning true african i see you uh, Side J's deadlifting 300 pounds right now. Get that deadlift to 400 pounds. Uh, I was reading the Strong Lifts website, and apparently uh, there's goals that every strong man should have uh, on the intermediate level. And now we're going off the tangent right now, and we're not going on all the crypto information. But if you're just tuning in, perhaps maybe you'll get some positive information and increase your lifts. Uh, the goals that every man should set, uh, according to... Uh, the strong lifts information is you should be benching 200 you should be squatting 300 and you should be deadlifting 400 two three four okay are you benching two are you squatting three are you uh deadlifting four okay that's basically two plates that's a 225 three plates is 315 and uh the four plates is uh about 405 if i'm not mistaken shout out to uh omar bailao Go bit, I wait for you on Everest, says Sorian George. Again, uh, I always when I see your name pop up, Sorian, I imagine a Romanian power lifter. Shout out to Sorian. I see you out there. Post uh, malifications, get, get it. Uh, make sure you turn on your to post notifications out there. Sometimes uh, there's a possibility of champagne maybe getting a shadow ban. You know out there, the crypto lefties, the crypto commies on these uh, major media websites, they don't want you to listen to the good news uh, that champagne may be spreading uh, into your ear uh, out there. So let's check out what Lite Litecoin founder Charlie Lee has been talking about there. So Litecoin founder, dollar cost average in accumulate crypto now, while crypto prices might have uh, obstin, obstin, 
I don't even know how to pronounce that. Kick the bucket. Uh, there are some optimists who have done their best to disregard prices, focusing on the adoption and development of the space instead. So Charlie Lee's long-term price of a crypto indicates level of success. So <laughs> uh, surprisingly, Charlie is not even talking about li- buying Litecoin. He's talking about buying Bitcoin. So this guy doesn't even want to buy Litecoin. And uh, apparently he said if he had the chance to buy his Litecoin back, uh, you know, he wouldn't. Okay, so, you know, it's funny, Bunny, this guy out here. uh, You know, I want to like Charlie. I want to like him because, you know, it seems like he tries to be honest out there, but uh, it seems like maybe he's not, you know. Uh, anyway, he says the co- dollar cost average. So, I mean, it's hard to predict prices, Lee stated. And I have been in this space for seven years now. I think sometimes it comes back within six months or a year, but sometimes it takes three to four years. So it's kind of hard to say uh, when he's talking about the entire crypto markets. Uh, I think it's a good buy on the way down when he's talking about Bitcoin. Dollar cost average, you're buying. That's what I would recommend for everybody to do as long as you don't spend money that you can't afford to lose. I think the strategy is fine. Okay, It's a good time for people to have their heads down to get stuff done. I would like for people to focus on the tech adoption, merchant adoption, and also to how to scale. Things like the Lightning Network, side chains, and things that would help Bitcoin and Lightning's uh, Litecoin scale. So you know, he's not even talking about buying Litecoin. He's talking about dollar cost averaging Bitcoin. And what he exactly means by this is like, you know, as it goes down, you may buy at seven, you may buy at six. 65 you may buy at 58 or you may buy at 78 then you take all the averages of what you bought and uh you know hopefully you bring your cost down you can't buy the whole entire bag at once trying to time the market you know to to a t is probably not going to work so you know dollar cost average only works in a bull market if you do a bear market it's like catching a falling knife uh you know that's a good argument but one could argue that we've kind of hit the bottom. I don't think things are going to go much lower. So, you know, if you've been buying on this dip, uh, you know, while it's taking a little dip now, uh, you know, 58, 6,000 now at the $7,000 range, if you've been buying it, uh, you know, perhaps maybe you've secured a lower price. Okay. There's no way to time the market completely and just buy it all at once. Uh, champ one year later and still number one Litecoin fan here holding strong. Listen, Cliff, I'm on the train with you guys as much as you hear me talk bad about Litecoin. I still got a baggie, okay? At least a dime baggie there that I'm holding at minimal. I've uh, entertained and asked you guys whether it was smart to swap it out for Bitcoin Cash or for Ethereum Classic. But if I end up swapping this Litecoin, I'm just going to take Bitcoin for it. Uh, Jerome says, it's all a scam. Ha ha. Okay, yeah. You know, I, you know I, I don't think that it's all a scam out there, Jerome. But uh, some people like to use that word in the crypto space. Uh not really knowing what what they're talking about, you know, but all right, you got shot it out, Jerome. Uh, Cliff Martin says, champ, one year later, I I read that. Get real, Cliff, Litecoin is like over. Uh, (laughs) So yeah, Crypto Namacon disagrees with Cliff and me. We know Namacon is not necessarily uh, a Litecoin boomer, so that's what it is. Uh, take Take a look at Sharder SS if you haven't yet. Second mention, Bitcoin is still the biggest bag. Uh, okay, I'll check that out. I agree a small amount of investment here is good, says Shalom. Good morning to Shalom out there. Bitcoin currently at 7,020. Crack that $7,000 marker. Uh, is this a fake bull run? Drop a comment. Let me know. Do you think that, uh, you know, this is actually the bulls are back or is this is a fake out? Let me know. If you're just tuning in, it's the voice of the blockchain here. Satoshi's big cousin cryptography's finest. Are the Bitcoin bulls unstoppable? Are the Bitcoin bulls unstoppable? uh, Or are we just in a little fake pump here? Okay, I don't know. I'm going to tell you, I'm not convinced until we're above 8,000, about 82. 
uh, Charlie Lee's crypto buying strategy, dollar cost average, and then Dash Latin America. We'll be talking about that. Shout out to Copy, Cliff Martin, Lazor, Tyler D, Gold Fuchsius, Namakon, Dama, Shalom, and the rest of the boomers that are showing up here early in the population of the chat box. Kaboom to you. We're up early. Our blades are sharp. And I'm telling you guys, I am not playing games. It will be looking. Everybody here will be looking like 300 by the end of the year. And hopefully we'll be booming with a 25,000. Uh, dollar bitcoin or beyond isn't eos faster than nano i don't know um uh, gold fuchsius is asking if eos is faster than nano i don't know but i know that eos is very fast and right now eos has the most transactions out of any blockchain in uh cryptocurrency no bull run yet says tyler d unless it keeps on running to 9k okay Still haven't seen that institutional buying, so retail buying right now, says Lazor. Uh, Litecoin, Litecoin will always be top 10, if not easily top 5 in the coming years, says Cliff Martin. I hope so, but I'm not a 1,000% convinced. Colin McKenzie, good morning. We hope it's going to moon, but does anyone really know when? I'm in for the long haul if it goes into overtime. We'll be, we'll be here in overtime, Colin. Uh, you know, we're not convinced if we're uh, into the bull run just yet. Uh, again, I would have to agree with some of the boomers in there. Uh, someone said 9,000. They're not convinced till, till we hit 9,000. I won't be convinced until we uh, surpass about 82 or 8,400, somewhere you know, slightly above 8,000. David Tilbrook says that EOS is faster than Nano. Okay. Who, but, uh, but who's doing this EOS transactions, champ, says Cliff Martin. Uh, the EOS transaction or the community on EOS. The thing is with EOS, since all the transactions are free and those transactions that are being counted on Blocktivity are not just sending EOS, it's also writing contracts. So every time that you commit something to the blockchain, that's considered a transaction. That's why Steam is also uh, up there with uh, one of the most used blockchain because every time that someone comments or posts or upvotes, uh, that's considered a transaction in the blockchain because that's recorded to the ledger, okay? And in this case, the same thing's happening with EOS. Every time someone writes a DAP or does a vote or uh, stakes uh, more coins or sells RAM, that's considered a transaction. Good morning, a bit Papa, one of our high-ranking officials there in the population of the chat box. I see you. Good morning. Uh, Cryptonomicon says Nano will take Litecoin spot in three years or so. I'm not convinced with that one. Uh, Shalom says 10K is the line for me. So Shalom's waiting till we break 10K. I can see that. 8,700 and we're out of the bear market officially, says Cryptonomicon. Lazor says Bitcoin goes up uh, when we fast. Keep fasting. Shout out to all my fasters. You know, Champagne's doing the intermittent fasting currently. I was going to go ahead and eat breakfast out there. And you know what? Sometimes you release more human growth hormone when you fast for a longer period of time. Do the research out there. Do the research out there. We're building strong men every day. I don't want any fat boys in this box. Uh, if we get rejected at 10K, we will go up to three, go, go to 3K, LOL. I'm not convinced with that either, Shalom. You know, I don't think we're going to go under 5,800, uh, 5,000 the bottom. Uh, Gofusia says, I think all the social tech and influencers are in place now well, where, where they weren't before when we were at the all-time high. So while I can't predict when the new boom will occur, when the masses finally wake up, it will be huge, says Gofusia. Indeed, we're waiting, patiently waiting with the snipers here on the field. Shout out to my... Sniper maniacs there in the foxholes. Nano is popular in developing countries as an alternative currency, says David. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm rooting for Nano, but if you look at the all-time high coin index, Nano is one of those coins that have lost the majority of its value this year. Okay, it's not sexy. Okay, so, you know, we got to call it for what it is. It hasn't retained its value as good as something like EOS has. That's a fact. Okay, so far. Let's hope... We all have some crypto when the world rejects the dollar homogeny. Um, yeah, let's hope. Nano looks weak, uh, says Bit Papa. Yeah, it looks weak to me, but I'm not going to completely knock it. I know that it has some legitimate technology, but you know you got to call it for what it is. I um, mean, lost a lot of weight. One can argue though that it could be an excellent time to get in because it's at its all-time low. So hey, I don't know. 
Uh, I'm definitely not on that train, but I'm not uh, rejecting anybody that's riding it. Uh, bagels and beer now, but soon it's going to be champagne and caviar, says Colin McKenzie. Uh, yeah, but get off the bagels and all the carbohydrates out there. Those things are uh, getting people inflammated out there. What you need to be eating is more uh, meats, uh, saturated fats, eggs, and uh, foods that keep you satiated. Uh, eating too much bagels out there. Leave that for the women and children, okay? I may have to uh, start uh, giving out those uh, uh, keto coffees for you guys. Uh, well, you know, Forget about the champagne. I'll be uh, uh, giving you guys keto coffee out there when we uh, boom to 20,000 and beyond. But shout out to you. You, know, you can have your bagels and beer out there, Colin, but not every day. Uh, champ, buy uh, $10 of Nano, send it anywhere, and you'll be shocked by how fast it is. Okay, and you'll be shocked how fast EOS is also. I mean, you could do it instantly. The same thing with Steam. I mean, I can send it instantly. So just because the, the transaction is fast, it's going to take a little bit more to woo champagne than a fast transaction. I mean, I, I have that with Steam, and it still hasn't done anything. So, uh, you know, that's what it is. And in fact, the EOS and Steam transactions are fee, uh, uh, fee-less. So they're basically free. There is no fees for sending on transactions. So Nano's going to have to do more than that to convince me. As world currencies begin to fail, the people will wake up and demand a better store of value, says Copy. Uh, absolutely. You know, like I said yesterday, I think that the hyperinflation with some of these countries is proving to be another reason as to why we need to hold these bits and to protect ourselves from these fiat currencies that may be hyperinflated by nefarious governments out there. Tyler says Nano was a pump and dump. The peak is over. Okay. That's what Tyler says. Um, uh, Bib Papa says, I fast every day like biblical time. Shout out to all my uh, fasters out there. Again, guys, you shouldn't be eating too much, okay? Some of you guys are fat boys. You're eating too much. Three times a day for some of you guys is way too much. You're not doing physical activity like an athlete. Some of you guys should just be eating one time a day, if not uh, eating at all. Okay, coconut oil, cream, and coffee, says Lazor. Indeed, I invite you guys to check out Champagne's video. I did a keto coffee video explaining how I do the bulletproof coffee with uh, uh, coconut oil, grass, uh, butter from grass-fed cows, and um, heavy whipping cream. Put a bulletproof coffee, Champagne Crypto, and you'll see it. What am I saying? Yeah, it, it sounds crazy, but, uh, you know, f- tune in, JJ. Tune in. Uh, tune in, JJ. You've been lied to out there. They they want you uh, e- e- eating uh, things that'll keep your testosterone low, low. Uh, eating more uh, more tofu so that you could be a soy boy. Don't believe it, JJ. Tune into the good crypto word. Mike Shipley's talking about collagen as well. Yeah, I invite you guys to check out the protein collagen powder that I have linked down below. Perfect keto products. Uh, these are uh, protein, an alternative protein to whey. Uh, it's made from grass-fed meats, and uh, they're low in carbohydrates, so they don't spike your insulin. Let's get into Ripple. How about we don't? How about we throw Ripple into the trash, JJ? It smells like central banking. Okay, I want to repeat that. We don't cover Ripple out here. And if you're holding the Ripple bag, uh, you don't smell like a boomer to me. Uh, Protein powder is a scam out there, says Jerome. Uh, You know, you could argue that, but I I don't believe that. You know, I think it's a good uh, supplement. Uh, I think there's definitely a limit to uh, as to how much you can actually absorb. So, I mean, if you're trying to drink 70 grams of protein on one sitting, chances are you probably won't uh, absorb that all. Bone broth protein powder, says Tyler D. Indeed, that's pretty good as well. We know that uh, bone uh, broth definitely uh, has a lot of micronutrients. Collagen's great for you. Gold fuchsia, uh, I have to uh, okay that comment because you're talking about sex and uh, YouTube is getting triggered and... Uh, how to show your comment. So a uh, GoFuture just wants to have sex all day and get fat. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, if you want to get have sex all day, you want to increase your bags and get stronger. Uh, that definitely uh, will attract those that you want to have sex with, arguably. Two strikes, says JJ. <laughs> uh, to JJ, says Mike Shipley. How is Ripple trash? JJ, do the knowledge. If you're asking that question here on the channel, I would have to agree with Bit Papa. You're just a little calf. It sounds to me like you're funny bunny. I'll throw out the little uh, meme for you. Guys, JJ is a Ripple supporter, and he's asking why is trash. 
JJ, do the knowledge. I don't mean to uh, ridicule you here, but uh, if you're stepping in the box with cryptomaniac savage boomers, you need to do the research and understand why Ripple smells like central banking, why it's the banker coin, why it's a lefty coin, why they're in bed with the Clintons and whatnot. And it definitely doesn't uh, fall in line with the crypto ethos that so many of the boomers here follow. <laughs> Gofucius loves the nice music with the bunny. Hilarious. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, Ripple is not trash, says JJ. Okay, JJ, go shill Ripple somewhere else. Uh, but uh, it's not going to happen here, JJ. It's not going to happen out here. Let's see if someone else uh, gives you a hug with those Ripple bags, but they smell, tr- uh, you smell bad even stepping into the box here holding any sort of Ripple out there. You may catch a disease holding that. Dolphin 134, I see you. Uh, Shalom, I see you. It looks like Bitcoin has uh, to say stay up in this range for the next six days to have a chance to break up over the seventy two hundred dollar area. Uh, yeah, that may be true. Shalom, that may be true. You know, I'm looking at uh, breaking eighty four hundred out there. CNBC is the Bankster channel for sure, uh, says Lazor. I mean, all those mainstream media channels, guys. Those guys are not your friends out there. Only Bitcoin is good. No, not only Bitcoin. There's other coins out there that uh, we're interested in out there, but uh, definitely not Ripple, JJ. That's the wrong one. Uh, you know, you may want to go to another channel that uh, has a more viewers uh, that perhaps maybe is a little bit more friendly. Okay, but uh, definitely you're not going to catch any friendships here holding bags of Ripple. Okay, uh, <laughs> the lefty coin, indeed, it's the lefty coin. They're uh, in bed with the Clintons, guys. They got Bill Clinton talking at their uh, next junction. Uh, uh, Rogue B, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. He says, CNBC, uh, here's how to buy Ripple. Next, here's how to sell it. Yeah, I, n- I noticed that CNBC was even doing tutorials or so- sort of a, <clears throat> some sort of a coverage as to how how to buy ripple listen if the mainstream media is telling you to buy ripple throw it away in the trash immediately okay what would you recommend out here uh jj uh i'm I'm not making recommendations i'm giving uh, my personal opinion okay uh in order to be a crypto maniac boomer okay it's important that you do your own research and be responsible for your own bags jj i'm not anybody's crypto daddy although maybe i should be yours Okay, uh, don't 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 count on champagne's recommendations out there. You got to make sure you do your own research and uh, secure your own bags. Be responsible for your own keys. Okay. I know one of the boomers always says this there on YouTube. I think it's uh, Adam Meister, the Bitcoin Meister. He says uh, uh, personal responsibility is the new counterculture and i would have to agree with him so you know be you know be personally responsible out there don't ask champagne my recommendations just listen to what i have to say and uh, make your own decision ripple's not in line with the spirit of true crypto ripple is arguably not even a blockchain guys it's more of a glorified uh database if anything Ripple's a stinking pile of trash. It's not a blockchain, says Shalom. Now, listen, on the other hand, okay, it's not to say that Ripple's price may not go up a little bit and you'll be able to grab a little uh, uh, profits off it. I'm not saying that that can't happen out here. But if you're into crypto and you're into blockchain, that has nothing to do with the actual ethos of or what cryptos and blockchains stand for. Alas Dare, Newland says he just swapped some BTW for ETC. I don't know what BTW is. Maybe you mean uh, BTC. Uh, booming in Scotland. Shout out to everybody in Scotland out there. I think the problem is people fall in love with the company in the Texas gold fuchsias, but dismiss the erroneous philosophy and potential for corruption that underlies it. Yeah, people get easily, uh, they easily fall in love. They easily get romanced out there. No fiat. That's what it is. Uh, Ripple is trash, but will take off in the next bull run. Uh, but you can argue that even that some of the baby altcoins that are trash are going to take off as well. Okay, so you know, just because it takes off in the next bull run doesn't mean anything. It, I'll tell you, most of these little baby alts will take off as well. Buy what ones you like, says Mike Shipley. Yeah, you know, buy the ones you like and the ones that you like should be the ones that have solid technology that people will adopt in the future and that stay in line with the crypto ethos. You got to ask yourself, why has Bitcoin been so successful 
since its inception because of the decentralization decentralization because of uh the trustless leisure and whatnot you gotta you know do the research and ask how does bitcoin get to where where it's at right now and it's not by acting like ripple <laughs> everybody's talking about hillary's private server going down what about lewinsky uh says bit papa uh, lewinsky's old news uh hillary you know Right now, I was reading an article on Zero Hedge that apparently all of Hillary's emails were hacked, all of them, and they were all getting forwarded in real time to China. It's the latest uh, article there on Zero Hedge out there. Uh, You know, so many people getting indicted out there for these low-level crimes. One needs to ask, you know, when are some of these officials going to get it, you know? Ripple's a spreadsheet, says Big Papa. Indeed. Got to be cold in crypto, bro. Keep emotions out of the game. Indeed, out there. Uh, some people uh, get too emotional out there. Some of these crypto lefties out there, uh, people holding ripple bags get a little bit too emotional out there. And uh, you got to be cold in the game out there, says Cryptonomicon. Original copy believes that Hillary should be an F in jail, like so many other people as well. The Clinton kill list is crazy, says Cryptonomicon. Okay, yeah, the alleged list, the le- alleged. We don't have a, you know, allegedly. We got to watch out what we say out here. And we know the commies are tuning in and I don't want to get any more shadow banned than I've already had out there. Zenyatta just grabbed another bag of Tron. <laughs> All right, shout out to my Tron holders. I haven't figured out if Tron's the truth or not, but, uh, you know, I'm rocking with it. I'm rocking with it for now, at least. Ripple's made out of soy out there. Uh, you know, that, that that could be true. It could be the soy boy coin. Shout out to Mike Shipley out there. 54 on the live stream. If you're just tuning in, it's the voice of the blockchain here. Satoshi's biggest cousin. Your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber out here doing my best to fend off possible shadow bans, to fend off possible crypto commies there in the box, these crypto socialists out there, uh, these ripple bag holders that are smelling up the the population of the chat box. We do what our can to keep uh, all these uh, nefarious actors at bay so that the strong men can continue to gain ground, push that line forward, wave our crypto platoon flag and stake it down in the ground, claim back what's ours. Guys, kaboom to that. Tron is the second most active on GitHub next to EOS. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. I like that. I noticed that Tron had one of the highest trading volumes at one point higher than Bitcoin. So, you know, I like that. Lewinsky is Bill's private server. Okay, bit. Elastos plus Neo, kaboom. Yeah, I heard about that. I I mentioned that at the uh, beginning of the broadcast. Elastos plus Neo. It looks like Elastos has partnered with the Neo blockchain. I don't know exactly what they're doing. Now, Elastos being one of those heavily talked about cryptos in the underground here in the population of the chat box coins like elastos like uh, zero x and even digibyte i would throw there you know these t- these t- coins are talked about a lot i'm not necessarily holding the bag uh but i would look out for them they're being shilled heavy and you never know just off raw emotion they make kaboom very nice video says we love sanam okay well, thank you sanam and guys finally i want to talk about dash i have it there on the uh headlines uh crypto market update dash is surging on a latin america mobile partnership uh so uh, the condition of crypto market is steadily improving as the weeks progresses and further gains have been made today total market cap has been bolstered by an eight billion dollar cash injection and is now over 225 bitcoin has led the rally so let's get to the point here further down the list Dash is taking off with the 23% surge to 179 in the past 24 hours. The announcement of a strategic partnership with Crypto Mobile to expand Dash's user base in Latin America has lifted this privacy-focused altcoin today. ZB.com is currently taking 60% of the trade volume in Dash, which has risen 65% to 330 million. Now, the first thing I think of when I read that line, ZB.com currently taking 60% of the trade volume, is that, is there funny bunny business going on at ZB? 
Okay, you gotta you know ask these questions out there. I don't know. I'm shooting for uh, for Dash. I, I definitely support the Dashaholics out there. Uh, you know, Dash was a coin that was at one point in the top ten, if I'm not mistaken. It has some good privacy features. They're the first, if not, if I'm not mistaken, to implement the master node technology. And uh, I would agree with No War. Dash is a sleeper. And uh, hopefully it will kaboom. Now, we know that Dash, according to this article, is doing this expansion and partnership into Latin America. And I read through other headlines that indeed Dash uh, was moving into Venezuela to start to begin to market there to uh, in that country. We know that there's a major problem going on there. The, the commies and the socialists took over Venezuela. There's hyperinflation going on. I let you guys know on one of my prior broadcasts, showed you guys some examples as to how much fiat currency it takes to buy just simple everyday household items and food. Uh, you know, it takes like a, a whole stack of paper, uh, cash to buy a chicken so it looks like dash wants to move in there and provide some alternatives uh we know the government they want to do the petrol coin and i don't think that that petrol coin is really going to float it looks like another centralized coin it, it could be a uh, ripple's fifth cousin for all we know okay i'm not into these government back coins out there it's not a. Uh, it's not sexy to champagne Yo, champ, says Rafter Man R. Good morning to Rafter Man. A little late here today, Rafter Man, but you're in the box, and that's what matters. Rafter Man, one of our boomers, there are high-ranking officials there in the population of the chat box. What's the latest with Monero, fellas? Lady, I checked there was a fork, produced changes, uh, additional privacy setting, and it seems like there's a lot going on. You know how I feel about Monero, guys. Uh, you know, I think Monero is got the first mover advantage when it comes to these privacy coins and uh it has confidence uh amongst those that want privacy on the blockchain and i think as more baby bear cubs come into the market and they realize that some of these cryptocurrencies are not as crypto graphics as they would like them to be they probably will focus more on those privacy coins like monero on those decentralized exchanges like bitshares and like even like zero x if i'm not mistaken i think that's another decentralized exchange out there that provides anonymity if i'm not mistaken uh you know zero x there's speculation that perhaps maybe they will be listed by coinbase soon Monero lost me after having seven forks, LOL. Uh, yeah, yeah, but you know, it's still there. Mon Monero's still there and it's still holding. Shalom agrees, Monero's number one in privacy. Yeah, so, you know, that alone, I think is what's going to keep Monero at least in the top 20. So yeah, GoFucius agrees with Namakon that he got lost a little bit after, uh, he, he got a bit lost after all the Monero forks. I know there was some Monero forks out there. I covered some of them, and uh, I never claimed them, actually. So maybe I have some Monero owed to me out there. So that's what's uh, going on. Uh, Bitcoin bulls, they could be unstoppable. I'm not convinced. And it, 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 it seems like the majority of the population here of the chat box is not convinced either. It looks like uh, these Bitcoin bulls will become unstoppable once... Uh, the price creeps over 84 is what I said, 82 or 84. We got Shalom. He said 10K. Uh, we had someone else there in the box said 9K. So uh, it looks like the majority of the boomers are not convinced that we're out of this uh, bear market completely. And, uh, you know, it's good, though, that, uh, you know, you guys are giving me feedback. And at least we're above 7,000. OK, it's not doom and gloom out there. And plenty of positive news. You know, Champagne is not here for the scam talk, for the grip, crypto gossip. I do what I can to focus on ways to continue to boom increase the bag size and if i'm going to show you an article out here i'm going to uh, show you positive articles that could positively impact the price of the bits kaboom dash have a card uh bit papa's asking i don't know i think there's a possibility that yes they do have a card but i can't confirm or deny that uh namakon in his humble opinion next bull run Bitcoin private will surpass more narrow as the preferred privacy coin, especially with institutional investors. And I, I'm not convinced, Namakon. I don't think that it's going to surpass more narrow. But hey, you know, I don't have anything against Bitcoin private. I'm not a holder, but I'm not convinced. 
I like the bear. I buy the dips, says uh, Rafter Man. He likes the bear. We'll bring out the bear for you. Shout out to the baby bear cubs. Those silent lurkers that are out there, uh, many of them are YouTubers, okay? Many of them are YouTubers silent lurking out here, uh, trying to pick up on a little bit of slang, trying to find out uh, how to boom like champagne. I see you guys. This one's for you. Shout out to this baby bear cubs. Perhaps we can lead you on the path to becoming more of a man uh, and producing more testosterone via those squats that we're doing every time we step into the gym. Guys, I invite you to start exercising right now. Unlike other altcoins, Dash has bottomed. That I agree with, Shalom. It looks like, you know, everybody's been sleeping on Dash for a while. Uh, no Fiat uh, is asking anyone here into storage. Me, not personally. I don't know. Maybe someone else's. Uh, I don't have anything against it. Uh, but I'm not really into it personally. Unlike other altcoins, Dash has bottom. We read that. Why isn't Ethereum pumping? Uh, you know why, Jerome? Let's let's be honest. We sent a package. The entire population of the pa- uh, chat box sent a care package over to Vitalik. It included perfect keto collagen protein powder, and it even had some injections of testosterone siponate. Okay, but it seemed like Vitalik and friends ignored the package. I'm not sure if they ingested. Uh, the uh, performing enhancing product. So uh, that's why it isn't pumping. Perhaps they need to get in the gym and do it now. When institutional investors come in, they will buy anything Bitcoin related, including Bitcoin private. Uh, That may be true, but that still is not enough evidence uh, for me to believe that it will surpass Monero. Rise of King Fresh. Yo, welcome to all the boomers. Hold on to the EOS bag. Shout out to King Fresh, one of the snipers there in the foxhole. Shalom still sees 50% downside in most of the altcoins. Let's look at the coin market cap and see what the Bitcoin dominance is. At 53%, yesterday it was at 53.5%, I believe. Uh, you know, as, You know, as long as the Bitcoin dominance is above 50%, I don't see how the altcoins can gain more weight, okay? They can do a little 5% increases or whatnot, uh, or even IOTA is up 19% right now. But as far as like a major altcoin boom, uh, I think that we need more money in the markets and uh, we need some of that value from Bitcoin to spill over into the altcoin bags. And that's not happening just yet, but it could soon. I still see 50% downside in most of these altcoins. Yes, we read that. They may just, they might just be, but, but the top 10, I don't know what you're talking about. Have you ever said who you think Satoshi is? How about Peter Norton? Uh, he knows C++ programming and was a board man of E-China Cash. Uh, I'll tell you who Satoshi is. Satoshi's my big cousin. Okay, that's exactly who Satoshi is. Uh and everybody's co- cousin. I mean, the, most of the anonymous maniacs here in the population of the chat box uh, are Nakamoto family, if not directly blood related. Uh, they've uh, become adopted here by Champagne Crypto. Although I'm not your daddy. <laughs> uh, I don't think that Peter Norton is a Satoshi. To keep it real with you, I think Satoshi might be a group of people. Okay. Uh, some conspiracy theorists, I think, what, what is it? Uh, Bix Weir, he says that uh, he thinks Satoshi may be Alan Greenspan. I don't know if I believe that out there. So, you know, Satoshi has no face and uh, the Nakamoto family doesn't either. Institutional investors might just buy the top 10 instead of Bitcoin private. Yeah, I, I would I would agree with that. You know, I think Namakon does have a point that, you know, if there's a bull run, there's going to be people buying into Bitcoin branded products like Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Diamond, uh, you know, Bitcoin Gold. But, you know, Bitcoin Diamond, Bitcoin Gold, those are some of the uh, top losers out there in the top 100. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that Monero is going to be surpassed by any of these privacy coins anytime soon. Uh, Monero, to me, is the top... Uh, of the hierarchy when it comes to uh, privacy coins. 
Anything Bitcoin will get sold, bro. Yeah, that's that's true, Namakon. That you know, I'm not saying that that's not true, but I don't know if, if it's gonna sell enough to surpass Monero. That that I, I disagree with. Someone intercepted the package and filled the testosterone with soy and pumped that instead. There we go. That's what happened, guys. Okay, it's not that Vitalik didn't get the package. It's not that he didn't ingest the um, the performing enhancing products that we sent him. It's that someone intercepted the package and filled it up with soy instead. That's what went on. Bitpapa has revealed the facts. Thank you for letting know, letting us know about that breaking information. It looks like someone intercepted the package uh, that Vitalik was supposed to use out there. And instead, he's been pumping soy this whole entire time. <laughs> it was definitely a guy from Ripple. Uh, that makes uh, even more sense. Gold Fuchsius there, uh, he uh, just revealed that the Ripple guys have d- done the interception there. They uh, intercepted the package that was headed over to the Vitalik, uh, and they they swapped it out with soy instead of testosterone, and that's what happened, guys. Thanks for letting us know, no fiat. That's why we have boomers here in the box to break this uh, information, letting us know what's really going on, the truth behind these crypto coins. Tyler D said Block 1 stole the package. I, I think it's Ripple. I would say it's Ripple. I don't know. Block 1 attempted to steal the package, uh, but Ripple, uh, they, they had more soy. <laughs> Rafter Man says, look at three years ago, the top 10 will not be recognizable. Big Daddy Bitcoin is the rock. Indeed, that is a fact. Uh, guys, don't get enamored. Don't get romanticized by these baby altcoins out there. Okay, make sure that you're holding the majority of your crypto bag in Bitcoin. Okay, and then you could go play with some of these soy coins if you like. Sniper that soy out. Indeed, we're firing at the soy boys, getting them out the box. Hi, soy boy alert out there. We got to, you know, we got to make sure that we're patrolling the webs for the soy coins out there, crypto maniacs. Amen, says Chris Smith. Indeed. EOS is now running fast as Usain Bolt. Number one blockchain as far as capacity uh, with transactions, the amount of transaction, excuse me, as far as the amount of transaction it is the number one blockchain right now of running the most transaction, EOS. Jerome is asking, what do I think about Cardano? Cardano, Cardano. I like Cardano. First scientifically peer reviewed blockchain but the fact is they have not implemented the staking as far as i know the ouroboros the dataless wallet it sounds at this point like we're gonna have to put together a care package and send it over to the maniacs over there uh uh, cardano hoskinson and friends uh because i'm expecting a boom i like cardano a competitor to ethereum Everything about Cardano is checking off green except the price and uh, except the staking because I haven't been able to stake with it yet. So let me know what's going on about it. I definitely like the technology, uh, but, you know, we got to call it for what it is. It needs more testosterone right now. TRX is looking good right now. Shalom says, yeah, that, that, that may be true. I've been looking at TRX just with the EOS train instead. Cardano, careful. When they do it, it will be right, says Jim. Okay, yeah, you know, careful with all these baby altcoins. ADA is looking good right now also. Yeah, I said this yesterday, uh, Cardano being that it's at about 10 cents right now, uh, I think it is possibly a good buy. Uh, This is about the price that Cardano was when I first came across it. Uh, Before the pump, Cardano went over a dollar at one point. So now it's back down to 10 cents. It may be a good deal. Okay, it may be a good deal. Don't take my word for it. I like EOS because Dan Larimer and friends are keeping their heads down, developing the blockchain while the other blockchains at the top are developing their Twitter fingers. Indeed, uh, Rogby, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but you know, I'm talking to you. Uh, You know, a lot of them are doing 70 tweet storms out there like Vitalik uh, talking a good game, but not really implementing much. So if you're a developer out there, if you're one of these uh, crypto... uh, celebrities out there stop talking and start doing it right now cardano wallet not connecting again since it says impatient potato there you go you see 
you know, it's a good tech, but then the wallet's not working. Is it, is it staking? What's going on? The Ripple Shadow government intercepted it, indeed. Uh, going back to uh, the care package that we sent out there. Uh, Bruno was asking, hey, man, are you into Qcash? Uh, no, I'm not. I don't have anything bad to say about it. And I think perhaps maybe, if I'm not mistaken, I may have done a video about that. You may want to uh, run a search. I'm not, I, I can't, you know, I've done so many videos. I'm not sure if I've done it, but there's a possibility that, yes, I have. The Wolf of Wall Street and Roger Ver was trashing Bitcoin on CNBC last night. Bitcoin takes off today. CNBC is an effing joke. Guys, yeah, you know how it is with these mainstream media channels, guys. Uh, make sure you're not spending most of your time listening to, listening to these funny bunnies out there. They're not out here to help you out there, guys. EOS has a ways to fall. Uh, Shalom thinks that EOS still has some weight to cut before it starts running up again. Uh, I don't know. It's lost a lot of weight, but it's held weight compared to some of the other coins. Hopefully you're uh, not right, Shalom, because I'm holding a bag out there. So hopefully Shalom's wrong on EOS. Uh, I don't want it to negatively impact the bag. Rafterman R says, where is OMG at this moment? Uh, OMG was one that was talked about for a while, and then it just fell into oblivion. It hasn't been talked about much. So I don't know about OMG, Rafterman. Cardano don't even lift, bro. That's what it is, Big Papa. We need to send a package over there. Cardano, Ethereum, these guys need to start lifting out there. It looks like the only person out there that really wants to lift is Bitcoin. <laughs> Jim says, I watch CNBC to hear what they say, then I do the opposite. Uh, that, that sounds like a strategy. The contrarian strategy. Do, everything, do the opposite of what all these mainstream funny bunnies are doing. One year ICO on EOS, that's a lot of resistance to cut through. Yeah, that is. Okay, guys, we've been streaming for about 55 minutes. We have 48 crypto maniac boomers in the population of the chat box. And I'm appreciative, highly grateful for all these boomers. Now we got 50 here in the box. If uh, you're just tuning in, we've been talking about Bitcoin bulls. Are they unstoppable? It doesn't seem like the majority of the population of the chat box are convinced. Uh, most crypto maniac boomers are waiting for things to surpass 8,400. Some are waiting for 9,000 and others are waiting for that $10,000 marker. As I said before, I think the road back to an all-time high will be longer than expected. I do expect... Um, some of the boomers and some of the baby bear cubs to be liquidating and taking some profits as the price goes up. So expect a sell-off when it hits 10K, okay? Except a, a, expect a sell-off when it hits 12 or even 15, you know? These markers, as we go up back the road back to 20K, uh, there's gonna be some sell-offs in between. Smash the likes, 50 in the box, only 19 likes. Uh, WTF guys, no free loading, kaboom. Guys, just at least touch the box for me out there. Uh, there's a conspiracy that Champagne Crypto and the rest of the crypto maniacs here in the population of the chat box may be being shadow banned by these mainstream media organizations, these crypto lefties out there that are trying to push a narrative that is not in tandem with the boomers. So just in case we don't have that, direct evidence out there but just in case make sure that you turn on the buttons and you're looking for champagne there in the mornings i'm here daily out here booming with the snipers dropping f coins off the sky and uh, i'll take some fiat on every super chat out there and shout out to uh, the two dollars that was uh dropped by mr shore i think it was ryan if you're still tuning in ryan i appreciate the tip thank you very much uh, that's going to baby champagne formula fund. Kaboom the like indeed, guys. I'll take a few more comments and questions. Uh, Bitcoin bulls, are they unstoppable? Hey, maybe yes, maybe no. I'm waiting till 8,000. Shout out to Bit Papa, the R Oracle bottles. Shout out to Bit Papa dropping a little fiat here on uh, baby champagne that has been identified as the crypto oracle. Ryan Shore is still here in the box. Thank you, Ryan. I see you out there. Ryan dropped two on us. Bit Papa dropped f five on us. And I appreciate every little bit of uh, fiat because uh, I'll spend it. I'll spend it uh, ASAP uh, by uh, <laughs> the Oracle some bottles. I'll spend it on a, 
I won't spend the bits though, guys. You know, we want to spend the fiat and then you spend, uh, keep the bits. Hoddle the bits, spend the fiat. Thank you, Bit Papa. I appreciate you. Dash Latin America. If you haven't checked out, Dash is moving into Latin America. Uh, and uh, perhaps maybe uh, that that will positively increase the price. Kaboom! Rafterman R with another two dollars out there. It seems like people are becoming gr- gratuitous here now towards the end of the live stream. I appreciate it, guys. That two dollars is going towards Champagne's baby, Champagne's formula fund. The young oracle is in the house. Rafterman R. Always oh, showing love. Bit Papa always oh, showing love. Ryan Shore showing love. Uh, and the rest of the maniacs out there, it's not about, you know, dropping fiat. It's about dropping a comment, dropping a like, uh, you know, giving us your energy out there. If you don't have a couple bucks, that's all good. Uh, I just want you here in the population of the chat box. I need you sub- subbing. I need you touching all the buttons. I need you telling your friends, your family, the rest of the animals on your farm about the champagne crypto maniac boomers and the population of the chat box, the positive movement that we spread here daily how each one is teaching one and uh how we're getting stronger every day with every lift and every trade kaboom to that let the world know that champagne's on the networks guys and on that note i think i'm gonna go ahead and start tuning out we've been on the networks for about 50 minutes thanks again to rafterman bit papa and ryan shore all the rest of the crypto maniacs like crypto stacks gold fuchsias uh shalom dunn crypto namacon jim uh and the rest of the boomers there in the uh, population of the chat box if i don't catch you today i'll definitely be back early tomorrow booming with the best of them guys it's the voice of the blockchain here satoshi's biggest cousin cryptography's finest champagne crypto Thanks for tuning in.